Hello and thanks for joining me today. We're going to take a look at using Android Auto on a 2023 Subaru Outback. Now on the 23 we do have a couple options. Uh, option one is going to be wired where you take your USB cord and you plug it into the radio and you set up Android Auto. So we're going to start with that. I've got my USB. I'll plug it in and I am using an S23 Ultra today. So I plug it into the radio. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into my phone and it's going to ask me if I wanna start Android Auto. And of course, uh, the answer is yes, I wanna start Android Auto. And it's gonna run me through the setup on my phone and the radio, what do I wanna do? And uh, I want to continue the setup. And just like that, it's all set up. So. Uh, you're going to notice on the 23 model that the Android Auto is expanded more than it would have been on the previous uh, generation, so the 22 through uh, 2020 year models, or vice versa there. And uh, so you get a much larger screen than you would on the, the, uh, the last years. So when you're in here, you have the option of your maps, uh, whatever your quick buttons are on the bottom which are going to be your most recently used so I've got my Spotify I've got phone calls and I've got game snacks which is a Android Auto uh, feature where you can actually use different games from the Android Auto and uh, you can actually sit and play them and it's just a matter of selecting one that you want to do uh, in this case we will try out the uh, let's try retro drift here and it's telling me here, you probably can't see it, but uh, that you can't do it while you're driving. It's not available while driving. Uh, basically, the car has to be in, parked and in park and your parking brake has to be on. So once I've engaged that, I can actually go in here and I can try it again and it's going to load right up. So as you see, Game Snacks is loading. I've got my Retro Drift and uh, I'm going to give it a play here. I've, I've got no idea what I'm doing. I have never played this before, but... Uh, yeah, it's going to tell me. How about that? So we've got a little tutorial here. Uh, congratulations. You get to see me do stuff that uh, I probably should have done before trying to do all this stuff. But anyways, you get the point. Uh, we've got games and everything that can be played. And then uh, I can hit the back button up top. And that's going to bring me back. And down here, I can choose this. It's going to bring me to my main screen. I hit it again. And it's going to show me all my driver-friendly options that I can use. Um, while you are driving, you're going to notice that a lot of them won't actually do anything because safety and driving, um, it's not going to let you play with these uh, too much. And uh, that's really the gist of everything there. Now, once I unplug my phone, Android Auto is going to be disconnected. However, Android Auto is available as GPS signals lost in the 2023 year model so i've got my android auto here i can open it back up and it's all still going to be working um, and also when i unplugged it it actually set up bluetooth for me automatically so i didn't have to go through and set everything up now one thing you will have to do though is go into your bluetooth menu and if you select the little gear next to the car you're connected to um, you may have to turn contact access on um, if you want to play music or anything you also may have to turn on your audio um, settings there but it's uh, typically pretty easy to do so that's option one for setting up Android Auto uh, what I'm going to do right now is actually remove the phone from the system I'm going to go into settings and scroll over to my phone here and manage devices I am actually going to delete my s23 so that's disconnected auto Android everything's all disconnected and I'm gonna close out of here and my US uh, Bluetooth everything's all eliminated from there I'm going to take everything out from my phone here and show you the second way that you can set everything up so if you were to, again, start from scratch, you don't have a cable with you and you want to do the wireless Android Auto. What you're going to do is go into your phone, 
we don't have a device connected do we want to add a device absolutely let's hit yes on there now in my phone I'm going to open up my Bluetooth settings here maybe and we're gonna scan to the bottom on here till Outback which is showing us up here is available on the phone I'm gonna select that and I am going to pair it so I am now paired to it and it's showing me on the radio that I can start Android Auto I press yes on my phone I'm going to allow for messages and just like that it's all connected so now I'm gonna go I'm gonna press my home button here Android Auto and boom everything's all there everything I had when I connected it via the wire so it's not gonna work any differently now aside from the fact that it is drawing power from your phone so your phone's connected to this it's sending information all the time and the phone's not plugged in so it is going to drain your battery it's not a huge drain but it is going to be noticeable um, so the two options are either do it the wired version or there's also a the option of a wireless charger that's available for the outbacks that can be installed uh, goes in right below the radio in the uh, the little pocket right there so um, those are the options easy to do as always please like and subscribe and if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments thank you